Hey guys, this is Phil from Unchained Capital. Multi-signature is currently the best way to store your Bitcoin for the long run. But today there are some kind of gotchas that you might see with certain hardware wallet vendors. So yesterday when the CoinKite team released their firmware update, they actually allowed their cold card device, Mark II and Mark III, to be able to confirm your multi-signature address on the device. This is a super important feature because until this was released, you kind of had to trust uh, what you saw or what your computer displayed to you. Now, Trezor released the functionality to confirm the multi-sig address on the device a few months ago, and here's how it works with vaults. So if you hit deposit and show address, we're going to display this multi-signature address to you, but how can you be sure that your Trezor actually holds a key to the address? So this is a two of three multi-sig address where two keys are needed in order to spend Bitcoin from the address. Well, the Trezor team released this great functionality that allows me to confirm this address on my Trezor. So I'll select the key that is currently on my Trezor. I'll hit connect, allow and export. And then on my Trezor here, I can actually see, oh, okay, this address that I see on my screen here is a two of three multi-sig address. And the Trezor currently holds one of the keys to the address at this pathway. So this is a great, uh, great way to check that your Trezor actually does hold one of three keys to the address that you see on the screen. And until yesterday, Trezor was the only device. But now, if you have a Trezor and a cold card in your multi-signature quorum, on the cold card, you can actually do the same thing. So you go to Address Explorer. Then you scroll down to the multi-sig vault that you have loaded onto your cold card. So when you're setting up your Unchained vault, you'll load a little file onto the cold card that teaches it about the multi-sig vault. You'll open that. And then the cold card will start displaying addresses. So if I scroll down, I can actually confirm that the first address that I see on my cold card matches this address here. So just holding up my cold card, I can see that the first six digits and the last six digits are matching what I see on my screen. So now this is a way that you can check with two different devices that the, your multi-signature address is in fact controlled exclusively by the devices. Exciting. Looking forward to having the uh, other hardware wallet manufacturers add that functionality and making multi-signature safe for all.